uh, in this video, we'll be looking at the completing the maximum flow. The maximum flow is the amount of liquid, fluid, or flow that you can push from your source, in this case, a source is the point where all the flow emanates from or comes out of, by the arrows, going to the sink. So what is the most liquid we can get from the source to the sink? So in this case, what we want to do is something known as the systematic approach. The systematic approach works like this. The first thing is we go top to bottom. What does that mean? Well, top to bottom means that we are considering the top root first, and then we go to the bottom root. So let's look at this first root first. It might be A to B. Okay, so we're going the top most, most pipe we can go up, A to B, that has 30, um, might be litres, but this is the capacity of this pipe. Then we want to use the top most branch, so we can see we can either go this one or this one to D or B to C. We're going to use the top most branch, so we're going to use B, C, and then use the top most branch again to go to the sink. Now our main aim is to push as much liquid, fluid, water, whatever you think of, from the source to the sink. So in this case, we can try to push 30 litres, say for instance, through this pipe network. So if we push 30 through here, we'll see that we get 30 so far through comfortably because this pipe is rated through 30. If I put 40 through here, we see that this pipe would bust, so 30 is a maximum here. Now from B to C, we can see there's only 20 that can go through. Therefore, if I push 30 through here, 30 won't be able to get through here. So let's redo this again. We have to push 20 through here. 20 is fine. 20 can get through there, and 20 can get to there. So we've pushed 20 litres from the source to the sink without busting any of our pipes. How do we show this? Well, using a systematic approach, the highlighted path is A, B, C, F. Then we write out what the capacity was, 20. And our next step is to take that, since we've accounted for this amount, we take that out of our network. So, neatly, take off 20 capacity off each of these pipes. So now, we only have 10 litres left in this pipe. This pipe is basically useless now, and this pipe, we can still fit 20 in. Remember how we said top to bottom? Top to bottom, what we need to do now is consider that again. So, I've deleted my yellow, and I'm going to do it again. A to B. And then we can't use B, C anymore as it has zero um, capacity left. So our next branch is this one here. Now we still have to go top to bottom. So we're not going to choose this way or this way. We're going to choose the topmost path, which is D to C. And then we can see there's still some capacity left. So our aim is to get the most fluid we can using this path A, B, D, C, F. And we can see that the minimum value for all these pipes, which is the bottleneck, is this A to B. We only have 10 left. So if I push 10 through here, we can see 10 gets through all these pipes without busting any. So let's write out a new network. It's going to be A, B, D, C, F, and the most we can fit is 10. So what we do is deduct 10 again from that path. Okay, then we consider the next path. So, A to B can't be used anymore. Because of that, we from top to bottom, our next branch is going to be A to D. Now, if we go up here and here, we can do that. These pipes aren't going to burst and they're not already all used up. We write out our new route. And then what is the most fluid we can push through this? 25, 10 or 10. The most we can push through is 10. We deduct 10 off the network. And then we consider the next path. We can still use A to D. We can't use C to D anymore. It's used up, but we can go straight across. Our new path is A, D, 
F, connecting the source to the sink, and we can push 10 through this. Deduct 10 off both of these. Now we can see DF is busted. Next step is to find the next root. We can still use A to D, we have 5 left. We can't use CD or DF, so we have to go to DE. Then we go to EF. The most we can push through here is 5. Next step, find the next root. We can see we've used up this pipe here, so we're going to have to go to A, E, and following the arrows, A to E, E to F. The most we can use up here is 25, so write out A, E, F, 25, take out 25 of each of those networks, and so we're left with 25 there. Now we consider, what's the next path? Well, A to B is busted, A to D is busted, and A to E is also busted. So, there's no way of getting more liquid, water, whatever the flow is, from the source to the sink. Therefore, we've accounted for all the flow that we can. Our next step is to work out this maximum flow by adding up all of these digits. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. And then there might be context of the question. In this case, it's just maximum flow, but it might be litres per minute. Now, this is our process for completing maximum flow. Now, there's a process called minimum cut. Minimum cut is when you're looking for the maximum flow value, in this case it's 80, just by simply cutting the network. Now, the way I do this is you find those busted pipes. So I'm going to highlight them in red, fittingly. Now, what we're going to do is if we can cut through all these busted pipes so that you completely cut off the source from the sink then we have found our minimum cut which equals our maximum flow. So in green I'm going to see if I can find this cut. I'll just make that a little bit thicker. So if I put a line through A, B, A, D and A, E like this, I'm going to call this cut 1. Let's look at the capacity of this. 30 plus 25 plus 25, well that's 50 plus 30 is indeed 80. So when you do the systematic approach, you're able to use the minimum cut method, min cut equals max flow, to confirm your answer. And in this case, it's very easy to find it by looking at where all the pipes are busted. So this is maximum flow. In the next video, we'll be looking at maximum flow again but a more of a quick fire manner. Cheers.